Uh, what interested me about archaeology in school, um, I guess I've always had an interest for it. Um, there wasn't that much available to us in terms of archaeology itself. There was a lot of history though. Um, I think what's just intriguing about it is the ability to explore the past. I was interested in plastering because um, I wanted to make a difference to the um, older historic buildings in our country and preserve them for future generations so they can um, enjoy what we have today and also so they don't get you know knocked down and stuff uh, for, for new builds and a lot of um, work that's currently going on. Uh, what interested me to start the career now, I think I just sort of had a um, realisation that I just wanted to uh, begin a career in this field. It's always fascinated me and I've always thought, you know, to do a job that I, I would be able to um, work hard at and to enjoy at the same time. Um, I guess I felt like this would be a great opportunity at this, at the moment to actually go ahead and uh, work towards it. Um, being a historic environment advice assistant uh, will involve a numerous array of tasks. It will be exploring uh, various different areas of archaeology, uh, conservation, on field work, uh, curatorial practices, generally to get a broad feel of archaeology itself. Well I decided to start this training now because um, the opportunity was there. So I just came across it one night and um, whilst I was looking for lime plastering jobs and um, it just stood out to me and um, I thought it would be a great way to get involved with a great company and a great um, traineeship um, and really um, get myself on the right path towards a career I want to do. Uh, my advice I would give to young people would be to volunteer. Uh, volunteering is always a great op uh, way to um, acquire knowledge of heritage itself. Um, you know, find a local historic building and just work, you know, maybe like a, an odd weekend there. It gives you great, great experience and great knowledge of how heritage is actually, you know, used in the present day.